Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Today is Thursday, therefore it's Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Today's question I received uh, was interesting. It took a little bit of research, but it was a fascinating piece of information that I found. Uh, a friend of mine said that he has a Galaxy Note 1, Samsung Galaxy Note 1. Um, so that's a, about two years old, two and a half years old. And all of a sudden, without any notice, his NFC, or Near Field Communications, stopped working. Now, if you're not familiar with NFC, uh, it works a lot like RFID or like your Easy Pass or something like that, but on a very close basis, meaning you'd have to actually touch your phones together to transfer information. Uh, you can use NFC to pay for things uh, with like things like Google Wallet or PayPal. Uh, sometimes you'll get uh, vendors or supermarkets or drug stores or you know any kind of local store that will take NFC payments where you just go and buy something and actually just tap your phone and it'll automatically ring it up against your credit card or your bank account or whatever you have set up for your your, your wallet whatever wallet you use um, now NFC is uh, implemented by a series of chips uh, inside the phone now I had asked him did you do anything to your phone lately? He said, no, everything working fine except for the NFC. And I said, huh, that's interesting. So I probed a little further and asked him if he had done anything even like, you know, gotten a new battery or anything. He said, well, yes, I did. I, I ordered a new battery online because the battery for my Galaxy Note was, you know, not holding a charge very long. So I said, well, I think that's the problem. Because Samsung phones, the Galaxy S2, S3, S4, the Note, Note 2, and Note 3, plus any other Samsung phone that runs Android that is equipped with NFC, puts the NFC actually in the battery. So when you buy a battery to replace for your Samsung phone, make sure it looks like this, that it's a Samsung battery and it's not a no-name brand. Or if you're going to buy another brand of battery, ensure that it has NFC because the NFC in Samsung phones is actually mounted inside the battery. So he went and got another battery, a Samsung battery. His NFC turned back on, it was fine. So if you're gonna have a replacement for your battery in your Samsung phone, make sure it's either a valid Samsung battery or a battery that's compatible with NFC. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV. Have a great day.